Jack Trout, in search of the obvious, the antidote for today's marketing mess. In today's world of commoditization and information overload, businesses are struggling to maintain brand identity and stand out from the crowd. In the book, In Search of the Obvious, The Antidote for Today's Marketing Mess, author Jack Trout argues that the key to marketing success lies in simplicity and common sense. This book summary offers the valuable lessons and insights gleaned by Trout, who emphasizes the importance of simplicity, understanding, timeliness, and intuition in marketing strategy. You'll learn the pitfalls of relying too much on complex research and technology, and discover the tactics that can steer your marketing efforts back on track by finding and leveraging the obvious aspects of your brand. The Power of Common Sense in Marketing The increasing commoditization of branded products and services has led to a lack of distinction in the market. Marketing experts attribute the rapid turnover of chief marketing officers to a failure to see the obvious solution. Robert Updegraff's 1916 book, Obvious Atoms, presents the timeless concept that good ideas are simple, understandable, easy to explain, instinctive, and timely. Common sense is often undervalued in the commercial world, where jargon and inaccurate data prevail. To avoid missing the obvious, marketers must focus on reality, listen to others, and embrace a bit of healthy skepticism. The importance of keeping it simple. A company's success is largely dependent on a CEO's understanding that customers' opinions dictate results. However, many executives lose sight of the importance of simplicity and clarity in their decision-making. Research can also be misleading, with false assumptions leading to poor business choices. The pressure from Wall Street to expand, even when it is not in the best interest of the business, adds to this confusion. For example, Krispy Kreme's overexpansion resulted in quick success followed by a sharp decline. While segmentation studies and observing consumer behavior can provide some insight, they do not necessarily explain if the segment is worth pursuing. Instead, research should provide a quick snapshot of how customers view your product and competition. Ultimately, companies need to focus on keeping things simple and straightforward, rather than trying to be everything to everyone. Breaking the addiction of technology. The excessive use of technology can be more harmful than we think. It deprives us of quiet thinking time, bombards us with information, and lowers our attention span. As a result, we become addicted to checking emails and text messages, leading to mental disorientation. The author highlights that advertising should focus on selling products rather than just entertaining people. He also mentions that word of mouth and buzz marketing have credibility but not for all products. To break the cycle, the author suggests delegating tasks, being selective in what we read, and minimizing distractions. In essence, this book is a guide on how people can effectively control their use of technology to maximize productivity and balance in their lives. The problem with advertising. Today's advertising is entertainment, not sales, further worsened by meaningless slogans, commoditized brands, and irrelevant product placements. Marketing is offset, and advertising has lost its way to selling. When people like a commercial, it doesn't necessarily translate into buying the product, and they don't connect slogans with brand names due to brand commoditization. The result is meaningless slogans, which only add to the noise. However, effective slogans evoke powerful brand connections. In contrast, agencies elevate creativity above the advertising's basic purpose, selling. They need to focus on highlighting their product's key differences from the competition and be objective. Their role should help devise the best sales strategy and position the merchandise, not make cute or entertaining ads involving product placements and buzz. These are distracting, and dramatic portrayal of the product strategy should get the buyer's attention. The advertising industry's creative awards mislead people who produce ads into thinking they are film directors. Instead, an agency's biggest reward should be the continued client relationship. Meaningless slogans are like a virus that is undermining the world of marketing, and agencies are making this problem worse. 
The bottom line is the complete emphasis on creativity and entertainment has shifted focus from sales to entertainment. The power of perception in marketing. Marketers should adhere to the fundamental principles of marketing and focus on a constant or unique message to differentiate their product offerings. Altering established success should always be done consistently with consumers' perceptions of the brand, and every element of marketing should focus on a main differentiating idea and move in unison. Changing public perceptions can lead to the market's reality, and the leading brand has the majority of the market share. Perception also dictates reality, as can be seen in how Honda is perceived as a motorcycle manufacturer in Japan. Finally, even larger organizations such as nations can benefit from a better marketing image worldwide. In conclusion, Jack Trout's In Search of the Obvious highlights the importance of adopting a more obvious and common-sense approach to marketing, stating that businesses should focus on simplicity, understanding, timeliness, and intuition. The book exposes the pitfalls of relying too heavily on complex research and technology, as well as the importance of considering consumer perceptions, the power of changing public perceptions, and the benefits of being a category leader. By returning to the foundations of effective marketing strategies and embracing common sense, marketers can cut through the clutter and successfully convey a brand's unique attributes, creating a competitive advantage and ensuring commercial success.